Talk about your findings and your thoughts uh, upon hearing this news tonight. It's a terrible tragedy. It's unthinkable that in France, that yet again this year they're having you know such awful killings. Um, our report is focused on a toxic mix right now in France, that you have the highest population of Muslims in Europe, the highest populations of Jews, you have a far-right party on the rise, you have refugee crisis, you have a toxic mix, and we've been watching um, simmering violence and urging the U.S. government and France to work together to urgently address this problem from a human rights perspective. So, um, put another way, when people ask, why Paris? Why did this happen in France? What do you say? We say, um, unfortunately, you know, we, these are trends that we've been watching. You have um, a Muslim community there that feels outside of French identity, that themselves are suffering hate crimes. Um, you see anti-Semitism on the rise, and Jews in the past year have been leaving France in ever-growing numbers. Um, and you have rhetoric of the far right that is feeding on hatred and, and stimulating societal um, anti-Semitic and intolerant and xenophobic attitudes. Um, and this has worsened in recent years, and why is that? Uh, we've been tracking it over the past decade, but we've seen a significant rise over the past uh, few years. Um, and it's, you know, parallel to uh, economic crisis, the refugee crisis, um, efforts at countering violent extremism. And within France, too, there's a, uh, it's called laïcité, it's their version of secularism that uh, causes um, identity issues, so what it means to be French and feeling included and part of society um, has become an explosive issue. What about in countries like Germany that have uh, also uh, stepped up during this refugee crisis and they've been able to subsume, it's still going on, a huge population of people on the run? We're worried about Germany too. I mean, some of these trends and having influences coming from the far right um, and, you know, as Germany is taking on growing numbers, Germany is a country we're worried about. But France, it's interesting that they haven't been taking refugees in the same numbers. And one of the reasons is the refugees believe it to be a climate that is hostile um, to refugees. And, you know, the one place where France is seeing a refugee crisis in Calais, it's because they're desperate to get out of France. What do you think it means for France? Obviously, you know, here we are witnessing what has happened tonight, looking at this death toll, and we're talking to you about the report you've compiled. What, what worries you? Uh, it worries me that these trends are becoming more mainstream, that the far-right party is now 25% of the population in the 2014 election. So this is going from... Uh, fringe elements and it's becoming something that's gaining more societal traction and that's worrying because it's becoming more entrenched um, and the fact that anti-semitic and uh, intolerant attitudes can so quickly uh, erupt into such a tragic deadly uh, violent attack series of attacks right now in Paris is truly truly alarming well thank you very much for um uh, uh, sharing the result of all your work with us, uh, I'm sure quite earlier than you thought you would be uh, sharing it, but also you had reason to uh, study this country in this circumstance for the last 10 years. Um, Andrea Mitchell, uh, it's all very troubling. It's very troubling, and the migration crisis, which is reaching a really critical stage,